Both the flu virus and the RSV virus, which stands for respiratory syncytial virus, are viruses that often come up together in conversation because they have similar time periods during the year that they spike. They're both viruses that are seasonal, so we often see them spike in the fall and winter and sometimes into early spring. For both, probably one of your biggest early warning signs would be fever. Both of them can be associated with high fevers in all ages. And then other symptoms, even for both, would be runny nose, cough, congestion. For the flu, you're gonna hear people complain about body aches, muscle aches, chills, uh, as well as fatigue. And so these are signs that you may want to bring your child to the doctor to be evaluated for either of those. Early treatment options for those, because they are viruses, are somewhat limited. So the flu, there is an antiviral called Tamiflu that can treat the flu. It is best if given within the first 48 hours of symptoms. And it is usually reserved for children with chronic medical conditions or who are younger. So children under the age of two who are more at risk for severe infection with the flu. RSV, on the other hand, does not have an antiviral medicine right now that is uh, um, marketed or um, approved by the FDA to treat it. But with RSV, there is an antibody shot called Synergis that can be given to some children who qualify for it. And that is given throughout the RSV season as a preventative measure to try and prevent them from getting the virus. We can reduce the spread of both flu and RSV, um, mostly by washing our hands frequently during that, those seasons. For the flu, there is a vaccine, which is wonderful. Flu vaccine is formulated off of the virus from the previous year. So based on which types we saw and what those antigens look like, they make a new flu vaccine each year that they provide to uh, practices around the country. And then it is recommended that children six months and up do get their flu vaccine each year to help decrease their risk of the flu. It's not a perfect vaccine each year. Some years it's better than others. And so you still may get the flu if you get the flu vaccine, but we have seen that people who get the flu vaccine are much less likely to get the flu, but also if they do get the flu, will often have a milder illness than they would have if they hadn't been vaccinated. Mm -hmm.